Though they are quite rare, prison escapes do happen every once in a while. When they do, they cause scandals and get media coverage on pretty much every TV station. Some of the prison escapes on this list were made into incredible movies that made the escapes even more popular and intriguing to the public. But before we move on to the list of top 10 prison escapes of all time, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing content. John Dillinger with two dozen banks and four police stations under his belt, John Herbert Dillinger Jr. is one of the most famous American bank robbers. During his criminal career, he managed to escape from prison twice. While doing time in an Indiana jail, Dillinger met a couple of seasoned bank robbers who taught him everything he needed to know about the business. When he got out, he used the Great Depression as an excuse to start robbing banks. By 1933, he managed to rob two banks before he got caught and imprisoned in Lima. Dillinger spent only four days in jail before he helped a group of inmates escape. A few days after that, the group of inmates returned impersonating Indiana State Prison officers and helped get Dillinger out of the prison. While enjoying his time as a free man, he managed to pull off several bank robberies but got caught again in 1934. The police took him to Crown Point Jail and went on the news to boast how Dillinger was sent to a place he can't escape from. However, their claims were far from the truth, as Dillinger fashioned a fake gun, tricked a guard into releasing him, held 17 men hostage, and lured the guards back into his cell before escaping again. He managed to evade police across four states before he was killed on July 22, 1934. Yoshie Shiratori whether it's the urge for freedom or love towards planning his escapes, Yoshie Shiratori managed to escape from prison four times. Shiratori was convicted of murder, sentenced to life plus 23 years, and sent to Aomori Prison. He escaped the prison in 1936, but managed to get himself caught again in 1942. This time, he was sent to Akita Prison, from which he soon escaped. In 1944, he was doing time in Abashiri Prison, where he escaped from by rusting the inspection hall and his handcuffs with miso soup. In 1946, Shiratori was captured again. This time, he was sentenced to death. Knowing he was going to die, he escaped from yet another prison in 1947 by digging a tunnel out of it. He was captured in 1948 and sentenced to 26 years. Shiratori was paroled and released in 1961. Alfred George Heinz Alfred Houdini Heinz got his nickname by escaping from three high-security prisons while serving a 12-year sentence. His first escape was in 1958 when he escaped from Nottingham Prison. He managed to get through several locked doors and over a 20-foot tall wall. Heinz spent almost a year free before he was caught again. He used his arrest to sue the authorities so he could be escorted to the court of law. There he had a few accomplices who helped him trick the guards and lock the latter into a toilet. He escaped from the court onto Fleet Street and made his way to the nearest airport. He was caught five hours later. Houdini Heinz's last prison escape happened a year later when he escaped from Chelmsford Prison. He used his connections to escape to Ireland where he lived for two years under a false identity. He was caught and arrested for driving an unlicensed car. After his release from prison, Heinz became a member of Mensa, the largest and oldest IQ society in the world. John Gerard Gerard was a Jesuit priest who was sent to prison for preaching his Catholic beliefs while the church was persecuted by Elizabethan England. He is also the only person to have escaped the Tower of London. After several interrogations and many torture sessions, Gerard was sentenced to death for crimes against England. He used orange juice to write notes in invisible ink to his allies on the outside, who helped him arrange an escape. His allies brought a boat under the tower and threw a rope to Gerard so he could get out. He almost fell to his death because of his tortured hands, but in the end managed to get onto the boat. He fled to Rome and spent the rest of his life there. Texas 7 This escape took place on December 13, 2000 in the John B. Connolly unit in Texas. A group of prisoners devised a scheme that helped them overpower 16 people, including inmates, officers, and supervisors. They took their credit cards, IDs, and clothing so they can impersonate civilians at the prison's back gate. While three inmates made their way to the guard tower disguised as civilians, four inmates were making constant calls to the guard tower to distract them. The tower was raided and the inmates stole weapons and a pickup truck. All seven inmates drove away together in an unknown direction. However, it only took a month for the police to track them down. Six of the prisoners were placed on death row, while the seventh took his life instead of going back to prison. The Escape of Empress Matilda 
In the early 12th century, the anarchy battle was raging across England. In 1142, during the battle, young Empress Matilda was besieged by her cousin Stephen, the grandson of William the Conqueror. It took Matilda several months to plan her escape, and during one cold December night, she wrapped herself in a white cape and used ice cakes that she'd fashioned to escape across a frozen river. Stephen and Matilda agreed to a truce, in which Stephen would keep the throne if Matilda's son, Henry, became his heir. Unfortunately, Stephen died not long after the truce was forged and Henry II took the throne. Escape from Alcatraz This escape is one of the most controversial ones in modern history. Inmates Frank Morris, John Anglin, and his brother Clarence Anglin spent two years digging an escape route through the walls of a cell while fashioning a raft that would take them to freedom. The night before their escape in 1962, the inmates placed dummies into their beds so the guards wouldn't suspect anything until the morning. During the search for the inmates, investigators found parts of the raft and personal belongings in the bay, leading them to think that the prisoners had drowned. The official investigation was closed by the FBI on December 31, 1979, saying that no credible evidence emerged to suggest the men were still alive. Ronnie Biggs Ronald Arthur Biggs, also known as Ronnie Biggs, is famous for two things. Pulling off the Great Train Robbery in 1963 and spending 36 years as a fugitive before voluntarily surrendering to the UK government in 2001. Biggs was captured and sent to prison for playing his part in the Great Train Robbery. However, he only served 19 months before he escaped in 1965. He fled from the UK to Brussels via boat, then moved to Paris where he bought a fake identity and underwent plastic surgery. He spent most of his 36 years as a fugitive in Brazil and Australia. Biggs voluntarily returned to the UK in 2001, where he was arrested and imprisoned immediately. He was released on parole in 2009 and died in 2013. Mace Prison in 1983, HM Prison Maze became the location of the biggest prison escape in UK history. After months of planning, 38 IRA prisoners escaped from the Maximum Security Prison, a place that was considered as one of the best secured prisons in Europe. The prisoners spent their time in H Block that was surrounded with solid steel doors on all exits, 15-foot fences, and 18-foot thick concrete walls, all topped with barbed wire. The escape involved two inmates becoming orderlies to reveal weaknesses in the system, which helped them smuggle six handguns into the prison. The inmates took control of the block by simultaneously taking prison officers hostage. After several attempts, the prisoners were able to open the main gate and escape over the fence. HM Prison Maze was secure again in less than two hours, but 38 prisoners were missing. The Great Escape Stalag Luft III was a war camp where British airmen were held during World War II. The Great Escape was planned by squadron leader Roger Bushell, who was in charge of the escape committee of the North Compound. He planned to dig deep and long tunnels under the camp fences that would lead the prisoners to a nearby forest. Three tunnels were built, nicknamed Tom, Dick, and Harry. The general idea behind these tunnels was that if one of them was discovered, the Germans wouldn't think there were two more. Over 600 prisoners built tunnels that descended 30 feet below the surface. Tunnels were only two square feet and shored up with pieces of wood that prisoners fashioned from their beds. Bushel's goal was to get 200 prisoners to freedom. 200 men were selected, all according to their merits. Out of those 200, 70 who have contributed most to the construction of the tunnels were selected to go first. On March 24, 1944, at 10.30 p.m., the first men made their way through the tunnels and realized that they were too short. They were just a few feet away from the forest, but dangerously close to the guard tower. 76 men made it to freedom when the 77th was spotted by the German guards. Out of the 76 who initially escaped, 73 were caught. Half of them were executed publicly as an example. So, are you familiar with any of these escapes? Have you seen the movies based on John Dillinger's life or the escape from Alcatraz? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. We'll show you everything worth knowing.